It's been a weird month working on this project. A very weird month. Mainly because of the offices opposite. Half of them have seen me naked. Mainly from sort of forgetting to shut my blinds. Are there reasons to shut the blinds? Who knows? Yeah, I've just been going around the office naked. No. Joe, what's this video about? Oh yeah, the behind the scenes for an animation that I made. Basically, uh, I watched Final Space over summer. I thought, hmm, that looks nice. I, I, want, I want to make that. It's so influenced inspired ripped off uh, <laughs> the only problem with me wanting to make an animation is i can't draw i thought if i made assets which i could animate by doing a couple of tweaks and sliders that would be the way to do it instead of having to hand draw every frame and it kind of worked i wasn't sure if i was gonna make a space animation and i realized if i set it in space i wouldn't have to animate much because a character can just be floating in space I could have done it underwater, but it would have been less bright and colourful. I was basically thinking, if you're in a big suit thing in space, what happens when you gotta go? I mean, I'm sure they've probably got like... So, so I literally just googled this now, and they actually just wear diapers. I probably should have done my research, but hey, hey it was funny. <laughs> like, I, I kind of was thinking, I was imagining like, when you're out in the wilderness, you've got to, you've got to pee, you can't... So you go, you go find a bush, you go piss in a bush or squat in a bush, whatever you choose, it's 2018, you pee however you want. You can't really do that in space, but I thought it'd be funny if you did. So that was the dumb idea behind um, this whole fucking animation. So I made a sort of initial animatic. So here's, here's that sped up. <laughs> So I want to have that sort of animatic done, I sort of made like initial sort of assets, sort of like more sort of like tests, like a proof of concept sort of thing. They, they look shit, they look absolute garbage. You can sort of see where they went to. So it's like good sort of testing the water, testing out what I'd be using to make the final thing. I'll go into more detail on how I made the final things probably like later on in this video. I guess I'll go into the... Thing. Sure. The thing. Go into the thing, Joe. Um, so yeah, th this is the edit. This is the edit as a whole. It's a big boy. It's a very long boy. Timeline-wise, because it was all planned out, it was fairly easy to... St it's not exactly a hard edit because it's, it's all there. It was mainly just audio got a bit messy so like down here at the bottom this is all just a vinyl crackle because i want it like you're set in space what does space sound like it doesn't sound like fucking anything so i tried to get a bit creative with it and sort of like this um this blue is sort of like a, a deeper rumble sort of like a, an atmospheric sort of rumble these are bleeps from the in the in the hud and all, the, all these orange ones uh sort of clove movements which was which is funny <laughs> Very nice. And then the rest of it's just like a mix of whatever the fuck I wanted, basically. So let's just fucking go through it. This is actually one of the only shot. No, this is the only shot where the spaceship is actually 3D. And then I realized it was so much quicker to like position the camera and then just pre-compose it. Because I thought position just gets like a fucking pain otherwise. Anyway. Steven. Steven, are you there? Steven! Steven, can you hear me? Steven! Steven, I need you to open the hangar doors! Okay, so this, like, I made a whole faff about my project being, like, using assets. So I didn't have to draw anything. And this is, like, the one shot where I had to draw something. I can't draw for shit. This pose is fucking hard to draw. I, 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 I pose very well in, um, in my vest. Cause it's hot in this room. It's fucking hot. I've shut the window for audio right now. I'm boiling. I'm normally topless in here, hence the office people love me. But yeah, I hate this shot so much. It looks like dog shit. Absolute dog shit. There's a space storm coming. What? A, a space storm? Really? What? Who wrote this script? Who? Honestly, tell me. Okay, again, I can't draw. I took a picture of my hand holding some paper. There's no other way to do that. I just... Hands, man. H how do you draw a hand? Who wrote this script? It is so bad. It's just terrible. It's got no flavor in it. It's like someone's just thrown shredded weed at a brick wall for 10 hours and I've been forced to eat it. Yeah, like 
All these jokes were improv so here's like alternate takes, some of them, anyway. Who, honestly, tell me, who wrote the script? It is so bad, it's just, it's as dry as some Weetabix that have been outside sunbathing all day. It has no flavor, it's like dry Weetabix has been beaten against a brick wall for 10 hours. It's as stale as the biscuits my grandma still has in her cupboards, and she's been dead for 50 years. Oh my god, some, a student must have written this, it's honestly terrible. It's so bland, it's like shredded wheat took a shit on shredded wheat, and someone had to eat that. Someone had to. It, it's basically shredded wheat. Colored brown. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Fuck the script. I'm done. I'm out. I'm done. I'm done with this stuff for today. I just can't. I've been holding in a pee for five hours. Five hours. I've been holding in this pee for five goddamn hours. I think I've half my sperm count. The amount I have had to clench this thing in. I'm pretty sure one of my testicles has gone back inside me. The amount I have been clenching today. Oh well, maybe you should be doing your Kegel exercises. Shut the fuck up, brain. You're not my mom. Steven, come on, let me in. I'm outside Hangar 4. Okay, this, this fucking shot, man, was driving me mad for ages. I had no idea how to angle the camera. The initial versions of this were just shit. Um, I even, like, I got very drunk one night, and I thought, oh, yeah, I'm drunk. I couldn't, I think it says golden, golden, golden door. Yep, mates. Using the golden rule to frame the door. Try this Sober Joe smiley face. Um, no. I ended up doing square on Wes Anderson door style. And even then, like, it was dog shit. Because so I, I wanted to hand draw it. That's terrible. So I, I just did it digitally and then janked it up digitally as well. So... Steven, please, come on. Just let me in, please. God, Steven, please, let me... Steven, love it. Come on, let... Oh my, come on! <laughs> Steven! Okay, this bit, this tiny bit, I, I didn't know how to sort of step up, go at someone <laughs> spazzing out. Can't say that. Um, so, someone having an autistic stroke. That's worse. Uh, but yeah, this was actually just, just um, done in Photoshop. I just screen recorded Photoshop because it was dumb. It was, it was funny and dumb. But yeah. Oh god, what if he's been eaten by one of those space squid we have in the holding cells? <laughs> I was initially gonna, um, say something like a bit, try, try and be sci-fi with it. Oh god, what if he's been eaten by one of those, <laughs> what do we call them? I was gonna give them a name, I think I went on Valactic Squid. <laughs> Valactic? Valactic Squid, sure, they're called Valactic Squid. Um, I realised I couldn't say Valactic while doing an accent. La, 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 la. Um, so they became space squid. Obviously better because uh, you know, what the fuck is what's phylactic mean? Space squid. It's, it's better. It's funnier. It's simple. Like me. Or or maybe he's using one of the smaller ones to. Oh God! You disgust me, Stephen. You disgust me. Well, I guess that leaves me with no choice. You brought me to this, Stephen. I hope you're happy. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, the pissing physics was something else, okay? I had no idea how to do this. I found a video of someone washing their hair in space, and that was the best reference I could get to what it would look like if someone was peeing. There's, uh, there's no footage of people peeing in space, <laughs> surprisingly. It's kind of good as well, because it means you can sort of take creative freedom with it, but it was a weird one to do. Hey, that is, that is cold, but so cold. Good relieving, good. Oh, it's like getting a blowjob from Elsa. Oh, it's so good, but so cold. It's like getting a vasectomy from Jack Frost. It's so hot and so cold. It's like jumping into a bucket of ice while still enjoying some hot cocoa. I just... Oh, okay. Oh, that, that's a lot better. I feel, I feel so much better. Oh, oh no. I've drifted. I have drifted. Great. This is this is fine. This is fine. Okay. If I get lost, Stephen, just just follow my pee. Follow the yellow piss road, Stephen. Follow the yellow piss. So yeah, that's that's the animation. I I want to talk about the, the assets basically because this this whole thing was built around assets. I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm fucking hot. I've had this window shut for. I've only been recording like 15 minutes. I'm baked. I need to strip off. I need to open the window and fucking strip off. They're gonna be looking at me now. This, this is what I deal with, okay? This is what I fucking deal with. They're in their fucking office, over there, and I'm hot, baked, and having to fucking... Oh my god, I'm sweating, man. Oh! 
Right, yes. Um... Aspect, Aspect ration. ration. It's a new day, it's less hot, it's all good. It's, it's bright and early, the room's not heated up yet, so... Let's do this thing. So this whole project was sort of created around using joysticks and sliders. That's kind of what I wanted to get out of this project. So, kind of a win. I, I learned how to use them. So the way it works, basically, a joystick is sort of, you set five key poses. You set the center frame, left frame, right frame, top and bottom, and then bind those keyframes together to one joystick. And then it just works magic and you can slide around and it animates all the between sort of frames basically. And that's kind of the basis for most of the animation I used. And then sliders works in a similar way where you set a base pose and then like a sort of secondary pose and it will animate through to the motions. It will animate through from, from the base to the words. So the character rig, I use joysticks and that to sort of rotate the body a bit and also to bend it. And then the limbs themselves were using rubber hose, which is another plugin which just makes it so easy to just make a limb and just move it about. It's basically like the puppet tool, but better because it adds some sort of geometry so you can change the, the bending direction and stuff. And then the hands in that character rig were, were hard. They were hard, okay? My first attempt was shit. Um, I sort of found you had to have each finger segmented into three parts. So I had the, the base pose and then keyframes for each finger bending and then sort of rotation as well and making enough sliders from that to animate each element individually, which is cool. Yeah. The head rig. This is head rig. The head rig. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with the head rig. It was a lot of moving parts and it was quite interesting experimenting, trying to get the depth of a head in a 2D plane. I found adding depth in the ears was the biggest thing I could do. So the way the head was broken down, it had sort of had the, the oh, fuck, had the, the back head and then it had a face layer as well, which would then cover up the ears to add sort of like a fake depth to it as you turn. So that helped a lot. And then sort of each moving element had its own joystick or slider to it. The eyes, for example, they had sort of the base eyeball which moved with the head and then the pupils were on their own joystick to move about. And those pupils were parented to a null which had its own slider adjusting the scale of it. So as I adjusted that, pupils get bigger and smaller. And I also added blinking animations with the slider. So I had the, the base pose as open and then the Second frame was just fully closed, and then slider let me just animate that. The eyebrows were fun. I, I feel the most expression I could get out of a face would be by adding eyebrows to it. So this was using a, a joystick. I'd have the up and down poses as sort of raising and lowering the eyebrows, but then I'd have the left and right frame sort of adjusting the rotation of it. So I could sort of tweak them and I rig them individually so I could sort of raise one eyebrow and lower another and have a lot more freedom with it and sort of offset them a bit so they weren't perfect the whole time which I think gave it a little bit more flavor and then the mouth was probably the hardest bit of the head rig who am I head rig um what am I so I basically used gigantic slider mouth rig as sort of a base for mine and the way it's made is you have a, a composition with various mouth poses throughout it as you scrub through it sort of animates you attach a slider to time basically and so as you adjust the slider it adjusts what frame is being shown and then from that you can animate lip movement and then sort of add a bit more I don't know, a bit more depth to it I then attach that to the audio amplitude so when it got louder the mouth would get bigger it adds a tiny bit but it, it, it's good it's good isn't this a fun video wow the pissing stuff Pissing stuff was interesting. That was literally just a ball particle emitter, which I adjusted the position of it and then duplicated it a few times and offset the generation of the particles to get sort of like a, a more random sort of flow. And it sort of made a stream with enough balls uh, and sort of got that sort of gloopy, spacey water feel to it. The planet was a fun one to make and relatively simple, to be honest. I basically just drew out some land using some shapes and then added some fractal noise for some ice and then just add an adjustment layer on top with the sphere effect and then you've got a planet and you can rotate that however you want and it's just, oh, it's beautiful. And then sort of um, to get that sort of glow around the edge, it was just a sort of a gradient with some noise on it, which I could then animate as well to sort of get that sort of flickery effect. The spaceship is the only thing that actually uses 3D. I built the spaceship in cinema. This is the first time I've ever used cinema. So it went okay. But the way cinema works is sort of the, the shade, default shading, it's, it's got light to it. So the way I sort of, I wanted block color. So I, I turned off the color 
in the materials and just set the color as the luminance. And that way it was just one block color. And then I could take that asset from cinema into After Effects, adjust the camera how I wanted to get right for the frame, pre-compose that. And then and I use fine edges to sort of get that black outline, just to get that sort of cartoony feel. And then I guess the last thing to talk about is really just compositing it all together. So I had all these assets and it was just compiled together in 2.5D really. So the space scenes, but the main ones where you can sort of see it, you sort of got these all these different layers to get this depth, and then I added ball action for the sort of stars in the background, and also the little particles that are about. It's just a, a quick way of making 3D particles, really. Then I just added in-camera effects to make it more cinematic. So there's a lot of lens flares, like a lot of lens flares. I'd add in lens distortion around the edges, and also some grain just a little bit sell it on the end. And that's, that's basically it. I hope you found this interesting if you actually stuck around till the end. Don't forget to like, rate, comment, subscribe, smash that bell.